Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Photo and set the Artistic Text Tool. Now go up here to the top and set the font. Now I'm using Arial, but of course you've got a whole range of different ones you could use. American Typewriter, whatever. Whatever you've got. Then set the bold, again, set whatever you want there. And also set the size, maybe bigger than that, maybe go for 100. Make it a reasonable size and set it to a colour. So I'm just going to go with, I don't want black. What I want, something like orange, green, red, etc. So now once I've done that, what I can now do is type it. So I'm just going to type, this is some text, etc. And you can create whatever you want there. Could be a whole load of, could be a paragraph. Instead of using that, you could use the frame. Perfectly reasonable as well. Make a whole page of text as your brush. And of course you can add some effects and I will be doing videos on that. However, you want to turn it into a brush. We'll go over here to the right side menu and this panel is via the view menu and studio. You'll notice that the new brush and sections not available. So what you need to do is go to layer and rasterize. Now I haven't added any effects to it or anything else. So it's go straight away into this format. It's been turned into a pixel layer and see it over there, pixel. Now I can save it. I'm just going to go here, right side menu and new brush from selection. And you can see it there. Now I can just delete it there. Don't want it anymore. But you can always make a copy because you might want to create multiple different brushes. Just make a copy and then rasterize the copy, obviously. Double click and then you can bring this up and you can change it. Now you can modify the size. You can change spacing, make it very intense and you can now let's just go over here now because I obviously haven't got the brush selected just over here to paint brush tool and just you can see this is some text that's the brush you can then apply it like that and you can see the design there but what you can also do go to dynamics that's the key one dynamics you can change the size jitter so it sort of changes in size depending on pressure change the scatter so you can make it scatter out so you get a really sort of distressed unusual effect there some of the others are probably not really relevant, but you can do rotation jitter so it sort of rotates all over the place randomly. You can see it set random, but you could change it maybe as a variety of different ones, pressure, angle, depending on your art pad and pen. And you can change the hue jitter again so you can see now you get some reds, greens, etc. into that. Saturation and luminosity, you can vary that if you want as well. Generally, I always keep that to zero, but you can. However, once you've done that, close. Now I'm just going to use my pad and pen. You don't have to, you can just use a mouse and then you can just apply it very rapidly over the document and you can see what happens. Just fills the document with that. And obviously you can apply it a bit more subtly, very, very, because that's why it's got pressure for size. You can just change it so you can apply, create small as well as big. And of course, once you've got that design, what you can do, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, etc. Do other effects onto this text. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.